Hey, how's it going? If you've ever thought about making your own podcast and you kind of get into that analysis paralysis, you don't know how to start, check out Anchor. I'm telling you right now, Anchor is at the edge of technology. It's the easiest way for you to get your podcast going. I mean, you, all you have to do is you start it up on your phone. You don't need any kind of crazy setup and 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 advanced microphones or whatnot. You can do it off your phone or computer. And the cool thing about Anchor is that it automatically distributes it out to the most popular podcast platforms, right? So what I'm talking about is it can get it to you on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And you can make money off your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's easy. And um, it's kind of an all-in-one. So check out Anchor. Get your ideas. Get your motivation out there into the public space. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started, okay? Download the app or anchor.fm to get started. Chris, the dating doc, and this is fire tips for all of you, okay? This is something that I'm not going to talk about something going on in the world right now. This is going to be pure tips and pure perspectives that are going to help you as a single. What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about how some Singles, they expect perfection, but can't give perfection. Or they lower their expectations so the sting doesn't hurt as much when they get rejected or break up with someone. Or we're also going to talk about those that focus too much on the negative on their online dating profiles instead of what they seek or what they have to offer. Stay tuned. So from the jump, one of the biggest issues that I that I encounter when it comes to my clients, when it comes to what I read on social media, is or memes created on this entire basis that people expect perfection, but deep down they can't give that same perfection back. Right? You you hear this? You hear women that say they want the tall, good-looking, successful guy that's emotionally stable and all this jazz, but realistically, they can't give the same perfection back. They're they're riddled with wounds from the past, all kinds of mental health issues, trust issues. Maybe they don't work on their physical health, but they expect this guy who's looking all sleek with the muscles. And for the, for the men, they expect this good looking woman that's fun, that's dynamic, that appreciates him. And deep down, they have their own insecurities or they're uh, habitual liars or they're still in the cycle of going on apps and they just haven't, they're not happy with themselves. So they continue to explore options until they're supposedly happy. I run into this a lot, this expecting of perfection, but then they don't reciprocate it. And, And it seems asinine, right? It's like saying, hey, I deserve to be in the NFL and the NBA or the Olympics, but I'm not even putting any work to be a decent amateur. Doesn't work like that. Expectation management 101, okay? You cannot apply for the job that you're unqualified for, okay? No offense to anyone's background, career, education, any of that. But if you are a paper boy and you apply to be a senior engineering manager at Tesla, you're not gonna get the job, okay, I'm sorry. But yet when it comes to dating relationships, people have that same expectation. Oh, he's gotta be this, he's gotta be X, Y, and Z. Oh, the woman's gotta be this and that. But then they don't look in the mirror. And this is this is a, a concept that's very repetitive in dating. It's something that I, I, I continue to run into. What do I do? What, what do I coach them on? What, what do I say to a client? First off, I tell them to look in the future, right? Tell them to look at, okay, what is not the excitement, not the, not the sexual vibes and when you're first getting to meet someone, but no, what does the future look like when you're dating them, you've been married to them and you're hanging out on the couch watching Netflix? What do those vibes feel like? They're gonna feel a little bit imperfect, but yet perfect in your own way. And this is where I go back to energy and vibrations. You have to vibrate with someone really well. That's what, you know, called chemistry. It is not reviewing their resume until you find the so-called perfection that excites you. 
because you're going to be searching for it for a long time, especially if you've gone through pain and regrets. You, your level of perfection of, of the standard seeking is going to raise, even though some folks, them as a person hasn't raised, they haven't raised their vibrations through focusing on their fitness or finances, uh, emotional, spiritual health, looking at the process patterns in their mind, avoiding mental pitfalls. They didn't do any of that work yet. They're like, well, I've gone through all this crap. So what I expect gets higher and higher. It's not going to work that way. It's not going to work that way. Again, I go back to that story. Paperboy is not going to be a senior engineering manager at Tesla. It's just not going to happen. It doesn't, doesn't work like that. So make sure that you are effective and efficient at gauging your expectations on what, not only what another person has to offer you, but what you have to offer, what you have to offer. Focus on that. I'm going to touch on my, touch up on it on this next uh, topic here. Check it out. So just last night, we had our first ever video speed dating event for Austin singles, mid twenties to young forties. It went really well. I'm so proud of that. The fact that December 3rd, we have an event for San Antonio singles. Video speed dating is a lot better than sites like Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, etc., where you send like, for example, 500 messages and you only truly connect with five of them. The rest of the time you're mindlessly swiping left and right, staring at your phone, messaging people, and then eventually they just ghost. With video speed dating, and these are just facts, and this is not me just downing online dating, we know what's happening. Video speed dating, you get to see their mannerisms, you see them on video, you make a stronger first impression. Instead of all these messages to, just to get their phone number, just to do FaceTime, you automatically see them in a round robin type of game. It almost is like a game because it's entertaining. You then at the end of each round get a select if you like that person or not. And if there's a match, then you get a message them. You're not messaging them to get the phone number to then see them on video. You see them on video first, make that good, strong first impression. You know what each other looks like. And then bam, you're off to the races messaging each other. And the good thing about the messages is they might be built around whatever you spoke on your little quick mini date. So if you're interested, check me out. Check out video speed dating on the datingdoc.com. Again, official website where we learn, match, and connect people. The datingdoc.com. Try out video speed dating. And if you're in a city that wants video speed dating, let us know. Let us know, and we will create an event in your city and get some singles for you to meet. Now, related to the concept I was just talking about, expecting perfection but not giving that same perfection, are the type, and again, I know it's happening with both men and women, but mostly female clients that have admitted to me that they sometimes purposely lower their expectations so the sting of a breakup or rejection doesn't hurt as much. What do I mean by this? What I'm talking about is let's say they were looking for perfection. They're looking for that great guy and they've gotten their heart broken because their concept of a great guy included being a toxic guy who was uh, abusive. Um, they think that's a great guy because unfortunately, maybe because of the environment they grew up in or because they feel that this toxic man is exciting compared to a guy who, you know, might have his stuff together, but may not be as exciting. So what ends up happening is they end up lowering their expectations right after they've done a lot of trial and error. They're like, okay, well now I'm just gonna date a scrub. And again, this is not all women, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I've ran into some woman, female clients, right? That will go into that. That will, that will tell me, look, I got to the point now where I'll date a loser because if we stop dating, it doesn't hurt as much. It's almost like they want to practice what that post breakup, post rejection feeling looks like. So they'll just date these guys that honestly are a waste of time. 
they're the paper boy. If you want to talk, you know, if you want to bring up what I just brought brought up in the last uh, section there, they're the paper boy. They're not the uh, Tesla engineer. If you want to use that metaphor in dating, but <clears throat> it, it's it's useless. It's very useless to to do that to have that mentality because you know that it's a slap in your own face. You know what your work, especially if you've done the work and you're continuously doing the work, because we all have work to do. If you're working on healing yourself, if you're working on your communication skills and how you react to things, you're you're giving out a better energy. But if the kind of men or woman that you date hasn't caught up with all that work, yeah, you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. You're going to cause a a deception. You're going to cause this mental deception where you're going to feel like, well, I must not be improving as a person because of the people that I attract in my life. One has to catch up with the other. It's totally fine for you to do a lot of work on yourself and still be dating the wrong kind of people because eventually it will catch up. That's good. That's good. When when you get to that point when it catches up when you're like, "Oh, wait a minute." I'm starting to date the right kind of people, even if it's not working out, okay? Because you can't expect a perfect person in a perfect scenario, okay? Imperfections are going to happen. Pain is going to come, okay? That's not going to stop, okay? So you got to embrace the fact that there's going to be a little bit, a little bit of pain and suffering in your life, whether that's through relationships, career, family, friends, life in general. But you also understand, okay? I know now I'm dating the right kind of guys. Things are lasting a little bit longer. Oh wait a minute. Things are fun. Even if you're looking for short term, you're attracting the right kind of people. And if you want to commit, if you're looking for long term, now you've put in the work. You've realized why would I date a loser just because it's so much easier? Let me date a man or let me date a woman that challenges me. because I'm at a different level. I've challenged myself, so I'm going to challenge who I look for. So bottom line, get away from this mindset to lower your expectations so the pain doesn't hurt as much. Work on yourself and then start elevating, matching with who you are as a person. If you're on a level, if you're level 11 when it comes to self-healing and working on yourself and you're expecting a level 56, someone who self actualizes who's who does a lot of self reflection who's strong mentally and physically but you're only a level 11 don't go level 56 but you're if, if you're level 11 on the work you got to do okay it's okay yeah you you can date level 10s through 15 okay you you're in that league but don't go dating level 2 okay don't lower your expectations because you're like ooh i don't i don't want to get hurt so If any guys know what I'm talking about, I'm talking like multiplayer gaming. I'm talking about D&D, right? Level I'm talking about levels here. Levels in that kind of sense, but apply it how you want to. <laughs> All right. Let's check out the next section here. I'm going to finish up with this one. And again, these are all interrelated. Look at them as steps. Look at them as uh, links on a chain. Connect all this, right? Dropping off some some good advice for everyone here. Okay. If you're on online, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this for those that are online, or even if you're texting someone you're interested in, but you are out here explaining what you don't seek instead of what you have to offer or what you do seek. Let me explain this a little bit better. Don't go out here on a website talking about especially in all caps lock. That that stuff drives me wild. Writing in all caps lock. Who are you yelling at? Don't go putting not looking for a liar, cheater, player. Don't waste my time not looking for a hookup. If that's the case, swipe left. That's it. That's your profile. That is your profile. Or let me give you another one here. I got three kids and they are my world. If you can't accept that, I don't want you. And that's it. Rinse and repeat. Not looking for a hookup or FWB. Keep on walking if that's the case. Hasn't said a damn thing about who they are. 
You haven't told me you like watching baking shows on Netflix, that you like to walk to a local gas station, grab ice cream. Because right there, I got some conversations. I could deal with that. I could talk about what kind of ice cream do you like? How far is this gas station? Do they know you as a regular? And what do you think about on on, on the way to the gas station? What, What do you concentrate on? What do you meditate on, right? Bam. But what the heck? What am I gonna say to someone who's talking all this mess about what they don't want? So what do you mean you're not looking for a player? What, what kind of player are you talking about? Video game players? Come on now, I got nothing to work off of. Or, or they don't talk about what they do seek. Uh, mediocre, you might say, looking for an honest, hardworking man. That's gonna be about me, yada, yada, yada. Okay, got that. But if you're really up on game, you talk about what you really, really seek. Must be a Dallas Cowboys fan joking. They're normally losers. Joking again. Bam, funny, right there. You're looking for a football fan and you're sarcastic and you're funny and you said something different than looking for an, a happy, loyal guy. Or need to find the right kind of guy that I can eat a tub of ice cream with and watch Bob Ross until he falls asleep. Bam, right there I got conversation. What kind of ice cream you want? I'm talking about ice cream a lot on this episode, right? What kind of ice cream you like? And yes, I agree. Bob Ross's voice does put me to sleep because it does. It does definitely work on me. Yes, it works on me. I put Bob Ross and I am very heterosexual. Love the woman, but man, his voice just soothes and puts me to sleep. It's not a bad thing. Or if someone says, looking for a combination of Deadpool meets... I don't know, Deadpool meets Travis Scott. I don't know. I just came up with this. Then, okay, she's looking for a set combination of sarcastic and music and whatever. Something to work off of. But if you're listening to this and all you do, all you do is waste your time talking about this is this is not what I'm looking for. You better not be this. You're wasting your time. You, you wasted five or ten minutes filling out your profile writing that mess. And on top of that, it already shows you, you're already signaling that you you kind of you kind of got some issues. You're kind of toxic when that's the route you go. See what I'm saying? You're not going the route of I'm healthy, I'm independent, I'm not bound by the past, I'm not a slave to pains from the past. I know what I'm looking for, I know what I have to offer, and I like to keep it positive. How are you expected to attract quality? If all you focus on is what you don't want. Risk aversion. Or you're telling me that this is kind of your past. You've obviously attracted these kind of fools. So now you want to promote it because you want to promote what you don't want. You you obviously accepted that in the past. So what tells me you're any different now? Right? I want a team player. I want a team player. Um... And I want someone that's going to be able to explain, hey, they're witty, they're funny. To me, that's what gets my sex vibes going. But if you're Debbie Downer on online, I'm not going to want to meet you in person. So this is the first time that I'm doing this, but... I'm actually going to provide my email because I want to I want to know who my viewers are. Okay, so if you are listening and uh, you just want to drop in and say hi, give me some constructive feedback, hit me up at the admin at the dating doc.com. Again, I repeat that admin at the dating doc.com admin at the dating doc.com. Tell me how I'm doing. Say hi. Tell me how you're doing. I want to get to know who you are. Okay, this podcast here is a supplement to our YouTube channel, our Instagram, and all the efforts I'm doing on blogging, et cetera, et cetera, helping us disrupt this technology addicted market and focus on us being healthy daters. So if you got something to say, if you just want to say hi, that's totally fine. Contact me again at admin at the dating doc.com.